Welcome to another episode of Starfield. Uh, welcome, guys. Uh, we are doing Back to Vetera today. Um, uh, why a little break in between the Mantis and this mission? I kind of went to a 75 world, got a very good gun, did some running around, and redid the ship. So the ship has better guns and a little bit better mobility. So just so you guys know. Anyway, so we are going to start this mission and let's do it. Well, you're back. Lynn! Oh no, don't start. I've had enough Barrett for one lifetime. I don't need the sequel showing up on my doorstep. More <laughs> pirates sequel? showed up when you were gone. We weren't as lucky this time. Wait, what? Calvert. Troy. Some of the new Dusties. They didn't make it. We should have evacuated after the first attack, Lynn. It's not like we were eager to stick around. But we had injured people on recovery and pickup coming at some point. Just not soon enough. Anyway, I was pinned down behind some crates with Barrett. Bullets and laser fire everywhere. No smile on that damn carefree face of his. Like he knew this was it. I started stealing myself to go out fighting. Then that idiot puts his hand on my shoulder and says, Stay here, Lin. I got you. I know that talk. Suicide mission. For some, perhaps. Barrett is quite capable. All things considered. Next thing I know, two of the pirates are dead, and he's got the third one in a headlock. Drags him out into the open at gunpoint and demands to talk, or else I'm going to demonstrate Newton's third law on this guy's temporal lobe. And that's when they brought out Hella. <sighs> of course Heller got captured. Just as luck. I didn't overhear everything, but after the ten longest seconds of my life, Barrett put his hands up, and both of them ended up getting taken aboard the pirate ship. He surrendered? And that's the last I saw of either of them. I need to find Barrett and Heller, Lynn. And they could have grav jumped anywhere. I tried pinging a transmission to the ship in the comms building before they left, but the pirates must have fried it. You want to try it? Go ahead. But the odds of them being alive, even if you could find them... <sighs> I've lost a lot of people on this run, Dusty. I just want to pack up. And there she blows! Heller's Cutter! We got it! Pull out data storage? You pull out some data components and download the contents on a slate. It appears to be audio transmission. Okay. Can't believe we got into this mess. Would you be quiet? Trying to make out the grab jump calculations before we're out of range. Out of range of what? Out of range of the sensor array on Vectera. Would you keep up? Once we're outside the star system, the bandwidth goes from instant speed to effectively never. What good is sending a transmission down there? You gonna tell Lynn how royally screwed we both are? She doesn't even have a ship. Do you underestimate how many of my admirers there are in the galaxy, hell? <laughs> One of them is bound to show up. Looking to reunite with this handsome face. We're doomed. Capital B, doomed. Got it, okay. Whoever finds this, I'm attaching the interstellar coordinates to the metadata on the transmission. Rescue us. Repeat. Rescue us. So, you actually get that computer working again? I found a transmission from Barrett. What? Let me see that. <laughs> Funny, even knowing he's alive, I still never want to see him again. Hella, on the other hand, okay, let me send you the location data embedded in the transmission. Find them, okay? Thanks, Lynn. Be a while before Argos comes to pick me up. I'll be here if you need me. And hey, if you ever need a little extra help, I've been thinking about a career change lately. Maybe it's time to put Argos behind me. I'm not fussy about assignments. I'll go where I'm needed. I'll get to work. Let's catch up later. Oh, Heller! It's you. And here I thought you were some 
pirate coming back to kill me. Lucky me, right? Nah. Nah, I'll, I'll be all right. Just, you know, wasn't trying to move around too much with all the painkillers and nausea meds running through me. It would seem prudent to accept any and all help offered to you right now. Man, I was so terrified when I got pulled on board that pirate ship. There it was all. Sorry, brother. I'll get us out of this. Trust me. That doesn't explain the crashed ship. Oh, I'm getting to that. Oh, okay. He tells me we need to start pretending to fight each other. <laughs> Trick the pirates into thinking they need to come in before okay. one of us gets killed. Okay, okay. I just remember him shouting, This kid is a killer. How am I supposed to defend myself against these hurly whites? He's gonna bite my face off. I mean, I didn't think it would work, but they came in. All of a sudden, we were wrestling with two of them. Barrett reached for one of their guns. And he shot someone he shouldn't have. Bingo. Blasted the pilot right in the back. <laughs> Through to the flight console. Mm -hmm. Dropped orbit like a rock off a high rise. <laughs> <laughs> I blacked out. And when I came to, there he was. Smiling like it was just another day on the job. You missed the fun part, Heller. I mean, I go through all the trouble of saving your butt, and you weren't even awake to notice. Right. And then he did the little finger gun thing. But Barrett isn't here. I need to find him. Oh, yeah. Probably should have talked about that first. <laughs> did I mention I'm on a lot of painkillers? So, I was real excited when a ship showed up. <laughs> then, less excited when I realized it was a Crimson Fleet ship. And then, really, Grim. really less excited when Barrett said, it's okay, I got this. He mumbled something to him, and then they were all gone. The Crimson Fleet has him again? I was drifting in and out, but... Yeah, I think so. Got a signal from the ship before they grab jumped. Guessing it was Barrett. <laughs> Haven't really been in a good <clears throat> space to have a listen. <laughs> Here you go. Hey, uh, uh, I should come with you, right? I don't think anyone else is coming. Still think there might be a spot for me on your ship? I gotta get off this rock. You got it. Catch you on the flip side, boss. Thanks for letting me tag along. You've given the fleet a lot of trouble, Barrett. Hey, since when is surviving being attacked causing trouble? Isn't that just fighting back? Hey, pilot, could you move your arm a little bit to the left? I can't make out the console. Don't move. He's trying to figure out our destination, probably transmitting this conversation right now while we're still in orbit. Well, yeah, thought I was making that pretty obvious. Okay, okay, put the gun down. I'm done. See? My retinas are pointing away from the console and towards this lovely view of space we have out the window. Time up. Once we get back to the base, the fun starts. My eyes! Alright, would you stand still? Laughing up the whole time? Hey, you're underselling my harrowing escape from certain doom here. A little charm goes a long way when the knives are out. Who is that pirate anyway? Matsur the Grim? Honestly, a pretty nice guy as far as pirates go. 
think I butted heads with his mentor once years back. Had the same kind of surprisingly hospitable vibe. All righty. I am at your service, everyone. Captain. Got a little held up on Vectera. Barrett, we were worried sick. Well, some of us were. I see what you did there, Walton. And I know you've been secretly crying into your piles of money just waiting for my return. Actually, Walter has been complaining about you more than usual, which is always a sign of his worries. Don't start, Conjury. Wait, is that? <laughs> and to think the first I hope you are satisfied the with libraries. the quarters available to now, you. Now, look at them all. You feel it a bit, can't you? Ever since I found the second one, I had the visions. Being around them is just comforting. So hey, I I'm still not a hundred percent, plus I feel guilty dragging you into all of this. Why don't I stick around and help you get adjusted to the weird corners of the universe? I think it's better we go our own ways. You don't want to get dragged down in the gravity of my genius. I get it. Let me know if you change your mind. Sarah is the best possible person to be running Constellation at a time like this. Yes. Focused, no nonsense, and dedicated. Yes, I agree. I agree. Visit. Oh, your father visited. News from Dad. You absolutely must come home right away. Incredible news. Drop everything and head over. You guys, thank you guys for following me this far. Uh, I guess we're going to go see Dad in our next episode. So uh, thank you so much. And I uh, hope, hope everybody's having fun with the journey that I'm going on. And we will see you soon. And we will pick a new mission uh, next time around. We'll figure something out. Okay. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. See you later. Bye-bye now. <laughs>